In the last video, we introduced the concept that assets either become cash, like accounts receivable that turns into cash, or they turn into an expense over time. In this video, we are going to look at how inventory eventually becomes an expense. Make sure you've done activity one from the business math and Excel module. It was a budget exercise before you jump into this activity. We expand on a couple of the concepts we learned there in this video. When we buy inventory, we would ask ourselves, should we record inventory as an asset or as an expense? The answer would depend on whether inventory will benefit us in the future or only in the current period. Since we buy inventory now to sell in the future, we would initially record inventory as an asset. When we sell that inventory, then the inventory will become an expense associated with the cost of the inventory. We will record that expense at the same time we record revenue for the inventory sold. Remember from the budget video that the expense associated with inventory is called cost of goods sold. So initially, the cost of that inventory goes into an asset account when we first buy it. When we sell the inventory, the cost of that inventory goes into an expense account called cost of goods sold. Let's look at a specific example to make that concept clearer. Let's assume we bought inventory on January 1st that cost us $10,000. We were able to sell that inventory on February 15th for $25,000. So again, we bought $10,000 in inventory on January 1st that we sold for $25,000 on February 15th. On January 1st, we would need to add $10,000 to inventory, which would increase our assets. We won't look at this part now, but we would also decrease assets by $10,000 for the cash that we paid for that inventory. We're not going to worry about that for right now, but I did just want to point that out so that you remember our accounting equation has to balance. Assets have to equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. In this case, assets would be going up by $10,000 for inventory and down by $10,000 for cash. Again, that's not what I'm trying to drive home on this example, so we won't worry about that for now. What I want you to know for now is that inventory is an asset up front because we're going to use it in the future to generate an economic benefit, meaning we are going to sell the inventory and eventually we'll get cash for that sale. On February 15th, when we sell the inventory, we need to reduce the inventory balance by $10,000. This is the original cost of the inventory. So the inventory cost us $10,000. That's what we put into the inventory or asset account. And now we need to take $10,000 out of the asset account because we no longer have that inventory. We sold that inventory to one of our customers and so it's no longer in our possession. We also need to record the associated expense of $10,000, which we call cost of goods sold. Again, we're leaving a few pieces out here because I'm trying to specifically show you how the cost of inventory moves from an asset to an expense. But don't worry, we will look at several other examples with inventory in the future where we look at the whole transaction. For now, I'll give you a quick preview to show you what we would do with the $25,000 sales price I mentioned in this problem. The $25,000 in this problem is revenue. We would record that as revenue for the sale of that inventory. We would also either receive cash or accounts receivable for that sale, but we won't worry about that part of the transaction for now. So the cost of goods sold of $10,000 is recorded at the same time as the $25,000 revenue so that we report a gross profit of $15,000. Just the $25,000 revenue minus cost of goods sold gives us gross profit. You should remember gross profit from that activity one budget spreadsheet that we did in the business math and Excel module. We are going to continue to add new concepts to these problems. So I wanna recap what I need you to know for now. The first thing I want you to remember is that the cost of goods you buy or make 
and plan to sell in the future are called inventory. So we call those costs inventory. Inventory initially goes into an asset account. And when you sell those goods, the cost of the inventory moves from an asset account on the balance sheet to an expense account on the income statement. That expense account is called cost of goods sold, which we abbreviate COGS, or you might hear it's called COGS. COGS is subtracted from revenue to calculate gross profit. So make sure you remember those things for now. And if you're struggling with any of those concepts, you might go back over this video. In the next video, we're going to go through a similar example, but for a long-term asset like a building. We're going to look at how it moves from an asset account over time to an expense account.